Autumn is a bountiful time in the veggie patch. Yes, there are lots of things to get in the ground now, but there's also the late season harvest. So I'm visiting the kitchen garden at the Heidi Museum of Modern Art to see what's ripe and ready. Zucchinis are really good croppers and the fruit develops quickly. So during the height of the season, you could be out picking them a few times of the week. You can normally tell when a zucchini's ready to be harvested by the size of it. So you want to pick the fruit when it's about six inches long. That way the skin is still tender and the seeds are still small. If you let the fruit develop more than that, they're not quite as tender, but of course you can still use them for stuffing. And when you're harvesting them, just use a knife or a pair of secateurs and cut the stem about an inch or so above the fruit. Try not to yank them off the bush because you could damage the plant. You can stuff zucchini blossoms and eat them too. Best time to harvest the flowers is when they've just started to open. But just remember, if you pick the flowers, you won't get the fruit. You could also be picking the last of the late season tomatoes. Now, if you can, try to leave the fruit on the vine until it's fully coloured and ripe before you pick it. That way you'll maximise sweetness. And if you're finding the birds are getting the crop before you do, you might like to grow some of the green varieties, which are less attractive to our feathered friends, or you could just pick them a tiny bit early and allow them to ripen off the vine. And if you're growing any of the heirloom varieties, make sure you leave a bit of fruit on there so you can collect and save the seed. If you're looking to grow and harvest something different, you might be interested in this plant. It's called the grain amaranth, sometimes called prince's feather because it displays these unusual feathery flowers in summer and autumn. You often see it growing in kitchen gardens because it produces grains, like round seeds, that can be cooked like couscous, ground into flour or popped like popcorn. Even the young leaves can be eaten in the same way as spinach. It's also pumpkin season. Now, I was always told that if you knock on a pumpkin and it sounds hollow, then it's ready to pick. It's a great method to use. But you can also wait until the skin is richly coloured and the stem has gone brown and brittle. And when you actually do your picking, just make sure you harvest it with about five or so centimetres of stem attached, just to avoid rotting. And of course, the great thing about pumpkins is that most varieties store really well, for months, in fact, in a dry, airy spot. So you'll be enjoying pumpkin soup all winter long.